got something special today. It's been a while since I've done a computer review. I think the last one was the GPD Pocket, and this is one in a similar wing. Another Ultra Mini PC, the One Netbook, specifically the A1 Intel M3. While I love my MacBook and my Xiaomi laptop, they are still a bit heavy. When I visit local factories for meetings and such, if I'm dealing with PDFs, spreadsheets, or PowerPoint presentations, I need a bit more than a smartphone can handle. But I don't need to edit video or anything on a full-size notebook. An ultra mini PC means I can always get real work done, but I don't have to slap around a big heavy bag. Normally, I use my GBD pocket for this, but it's been a few years and it's getting a bit old. So Banggood very kindly offered to send over the one netbook for me to try out. Let's unbox it and take a look. At this point, it's always good to take a picture of your serial number and your license number in case anything happens. You can have a track record of uh, the information so that you can uh, talk to the people who sell you the, this product. So this is the instruction in Chinese and English. This is the USB cable. And this is the adapter for, char for charging the laptop. Okay, on the side we have a micro SD slot. USB-C port and on here we have uh, Ethernet, USB, USB, HDMI and the good news is they have RS-232. It's a very rare feature. It's good for controlling robots and automation. I'm glad they have it and on the other side they have a headphone jack. Okay now I just want to compare it with the GPD Pocket it looks similar in size. I would uh, maybe the uh, one netbook. It's a bit larger, but it's hard to tell by dimension. It looks kind of similar to me. Okay, now when it's open, the one netbook uh, looks a little larger. But the keys on the one netbook is much closer. Let me see how they feel. It feels nice, but it's kind of the, kind of the same for me because I have small hands. Okay, let's put it up. Now I don't use any laptops. I can do boot to Linux, and this does support it. But in order to give the one netbook a fair review, for now we are just going to be using stock Windows 10. I'll install Ubuntu in another video. I'm not one for reading off specs, but just so you know, it's running an Intel Core M3 A10Y, has 8 gigs of RAM, a 512 gig solid state drive, a 7 inch 1920 by 1200 touchscreen, and a 6000 mAh battery. But numbers don't always tell the whole story. Honestly, I don't think they usually even tell half of it. So let's see how it feels.
All right. Okay, I'm going to download a new browser. Okay, now we are we have our Google Chrome. Okay, let's go to check out um, Taobao and stuff. Okay, it's very responsive. Let's go to QQ. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. I think this is going to make a great little shop computer, so I'm going to try using it for that. I've got a new CNC machine in for real. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at it and we'll see how well the one neck book does controlling it. Okay, this is my big meal, the Sio X5. Most of you have seen me use it. Great meal, but a bit more suited to production than prototyping. Things take a while to set up, but once you do, you can make a whole lot of wherever it is. It's for small scale manufacturing. For smaller objects and one-offs, I have this smaller mill. This is the Cuff Rever. It's a free access bench top milling machine with an optional four axis. It's got an auto tool changer and auto homing, which saves a ton of time. I'm still learning all its features, but let me show you a little simple engraving and I'll save the fancy stuff for the full review video. Not bad for a start. Looks good. I'll have a full video on the car very soon and the link is in the description box if you like more info. Okay, final verdict. The keyboard is a little small, even by my standards. I can type for a few hours on it, but most of you have larger hands than mine. For reference, my palms are seven centimeters across. There are netbooks only a little larger with almost full size keyboards. The wheel killer app for the one netbook is for network administration and general shop use. Being able to walk around and plug into IP cameras, routers, whatever you need to set up or work on. 
Then in the shop, quickly flashing 3D printer firmware, uploading another Windows sketch or other routine tasks you need to do without balancing a giant laptop on the pile of whatever you're working on. It's got a ton of ports, great build quality, and I have no usability issues. The only con is relatively short battery life and a fairly cramped keyboard I already mentioned. If you're interested in seeing a Linux distro running on the one netbook, let me know in the comments and I'll do that next time. Until then, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.